Howdy, it's Matt, and we are on the slope with my genuine fake multiplex fun cub. Now, those of you which want to give me some grief, it did say fun cub uh, on the box, and it was originally advertised as being a fun cub model as well. And let's be honest, we all know that it's a genuine fake uh, fun cub, although that does not detract from this model's absolutely beast like. Uh, flying abilities. Those of you which saw the video a day or so ago that I was that I was launching it off a ramp and then trying to land it on a ramp, uh, and now here I am, actually ironically the the weekend before, chucking it off uh, the slope down at Middle Hope and slope sawing it. And I've got to be honest with you, this was the second best model of the day. I had so much fun with this little trainer. Uh, on the slope, it was absolutely bonkers. As you can see, I really am um, just. J I know I'm going backwards and left, left to right, but I had so much fun with this little thing. It is a corking model, to say the least. Now, I also need to put my hand up and say uh, and apologise. Is that I did? I, I I'm here looking at the order screen over on Banggood, and unfortunately, I did not pay thirty pounds for this model. Uh, instead, I actually paid £40.60 and I used some points uh, and got £2.91 off it. So if we quickly round that up, I have paid approximately £37 for this model. So I do apologise to you by £7, uh, although it's still not that bad because we're still in the £30 territory, if that makes sense. If I was grossly out... Uh, I'd, I'd feel really bad, but actually it, we're only talking a couple of quid, so uh, I feel that I can sleep at night, and I'm sure you two can as well. Now, of course, Banggood have gone on and changed the prices of this model. It is to be expected. I actually ordered this uh, in the uh, on the 26th of June uh, this year, and of course you're now seeing these videos in September, and I'm not apologising for that. Is because a it took quite a while to get here I think it took a month to get here anyway and I also did publish that I was buying this one uh, and it was going to be super cheap over on the YouTube community tab now I've probably already been and stuck a screenshot of the Facebook community tab up on your screen because today is ironically another good example of why perhaps you might want to make sure that you've got your bell notifications turned on for this channel on YouTube because I literally just spotted that over on Hobby King the UK warehouse that they've got the S800 for 24 quid over there and that's actually what I did with this fun cup. I saw it the day it came out on Banggood for the price which I saw it and I bought it for say £37 uh, and that was now three months ago or more and if you're not keeping up to date with the Jimses, then you're going to miss out on things like this. So I appreciate that some... Are we going to stuff it? Oh no, this one goes in that upside... <laughs> this one goes upside down. And you'll see me, I'll just stick the landing back gear back on to make sure we get the CG right. Uh, quick visual check, and then I will lob in it again. Uh, so yeah, my point being is that things like this model... I bought this in June... And I let everybody know in June that it was on its way for whatever money I paid for it. Uh, and now it's September, of course, the models become more popular and Banggood have changed the pricing. So my point to you, well, A, that I do apologise about the pricing. I was wrong by £7, uh, which those of you which know how many models I get through here is no big surprise. I make a whoopsie uh, every now and again. Uh, but number two, uh, I just want to stress, press that bell notification uh, on underneath this video because if you don't press that then you're not or we don't keep a tab on YouTube as a whole and you don't see the community tab updates then you miss out on things like this because that's the reality of what we're doing right now which is that there is a lag time of sometimes of several weeks from a model being purchased to it being out and flown and tested this is the worst case example because it literally took it it was the longest model to take to get here which took a month which the other stuff was taking the other stuff which i've ordered and had sent to me is taking literally eight to 14 days maximum this one just decided to take the slowest route possible uh, back over to here's myself in the uk it just happens and i wasn't particularly stressed about it i just kind of knew that delivery might be a bit of an issue so i'm gonna leave this 
playing and you'll see me that I'm here working the slope and I'm going to carry on just smashing it around the sky and just being an absolute tool with a model. But I just want to make the point, uh, I was wrong uh, and I do apologise for that. I, I didn't pay 30 quid for this model, I actually paid £37 for this model, give or take a few pennies. Uh, and I do apologise for that. Uh, and the other one is that next time, or well, those of you which have got a slope saw in sight near you, next time you go slope sawing, I dare you to take an inappropriate model to the slope and then go and slope saw it. In fact, just for poops and puddles, I was um, chatting to Mr. Andrew Horseman, the kind chap which invited me up there with the gents uh, for last Saturday, uh, <laughs> just to see, do you reckon that big mega drag? If I push that off the cliff, <laughs> do you reckon it would fly? Um, and there were some ums and ahs. Uh, we kind of came to the conclusion that it was probably far too much work <laughs> uh, and probably not best suited to the slope because the mess which it would make if we stuffed it and uh, it would just be way too much hassle for what it was. Um, so, yeah, getting back to my point is that when you've got so much lift like we have there, so if you look out there, We've, the, the wind is coming straight at, straight at us, it's coming up, it's getting compressed on the slope, we have tons of lift. You look at everybody's clothes in front of you, you can see that Andy's legs flapping away from this sheer amount of wind and lift. Uh, and then of course the, uh, if the sun's come out and it's got quite warm uh, and the seaweed, the black seaweed down there is also giving thermal off as well. So you'll see me flying out much, much further uh, and having an absolute bundle of fun I think I may have blipped the motor there actually if I'm perfectly honest uh, but if I, I get back to my point is that we were getting loads of extra lift uh, much further out than normal because uh, of the thermal and the, just the sheer strength of the wind so I'm going to leave this playing for a couple of moments do I like this little fun cub and do I know that it's a genuine fake yes of course I bloody well do it didn't cost me 120 quid like the real thing and it's slightly smaller but does that detract from the sheer amount of fun which I have had with a model which I've frankly not cared about and done lots of stupid stuff with it and laughed my head off absolutely not in short so yeah apologies for no 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 apologies for going off a bender there uh, a, a lot of those things needed to be said i i paid 37 pounds for this little trainer uh and do i feel right now disappointed that i paid seven pounds more than perhaps what i thought i paid for it originally you can make your own decision <laughs> And by the way, today I'm going to go off and go and put some flaps in it, and put some bigger ser and put another set of servos in it to give it extra superior manoeuvrability, <laughs> as Austin would say. Anyway, for myself, Matt, a big thank you to you for taking the time to join me here on the slope to chuck this wholly inappropriate model around on the slope, and I had an absolute whale of the time. Uh, so with that said, for myself, Matt, as always, thank you for watching, and I'm just going to make the point again, remember to press that bell notification underneath this video, because that's how you get updated when things like this get bought way, way, way in advance. Anyway, for myself, Matt, cheerios!